Nora Jaster. I'm in first grade at St. John's Lutheran School. The title of my science project is A Battery That Makes Sense. Okay, what did you use to make your battery? <laughs> Coins, four pennies and four nickels. Okay, what other materials did you use? Vinegar, salt, a small bowl, four pennies, four nickels, dish soap, um, aluminum foil, scissors, paper towels, small, a small plate, a digital multimeter, a lab, and a lab notebook. Okay, how did you make your battery? By stacking the coins differently. And do you stack the coins all the same with pennies and pennies, or do you do them alternatingly? We alternate them. And why do you alternate the coins? Because they're, they're not all the same. Are the metals the same or different? Different. And when the metals are different, how does that help the electrons move? Um, they move between the coins? What do you have between the coins then? A paper towel. Soaked in? Vinegar and salt. And that's called the electrolyte? Electrolytic solution. Solution that helps the coins. Helps the electrons? Helps the, helps the electrons move. move between the coins. Yes. Okay, so now what do you have on your plate? And you want to describe them? The first one is one penny and one nickel. Zero, zero, five. That's volts. Okay, what's next? Uh, two pennies and two nickels. Zero, two, eight. Okay. Actually, it was zero, five, eight. And the next one is how many? Four no, pennies. Three. And, oh, three pennies and three nickels. Okay, measure that. Zero, five, nine. Okay, what's the last one? It's four pennies and four nickels. Okay, measure that. One, two, eight. Okay, so what did you learn? I if learned that the, that if they go the opposite, if you have more coins, if I have more coins, they're going to get stronger, and if we do the opposite, it'll get weaker. Okay, so is that the end of your project? Yes, it's the end. Thank you.